Okay, so let's do this right this time. We'll do this at this menu. So yes, we are back. Sorry about the delay. I kind of um, needed to rest my hands a bit so I wouldn't run into as many issues doing other things. So recording got put on hold for a week. Added complication, that's also a week that I got into Minecraft. That's a really, really bad thing to do. But yeah, we are back, and providing this all goes well, I will be um, trying to get some sort of normal normality in regards to my actual schedule that's going on. From this, I would like to say I'd like to play a little game, because I've noticed that I say OK a lot. So if you want to play along, get a bit of paper and a pencil or pen. Uh, pause now if you want to do this. Okay, so for those who paused, you know, what I want you to do is just keep track of how many times in an episode I say okay, because I need some sort of judge uh, somewhere knowing if I'm eliminating the problem or getting worse with saying okay a lot, which is something I seriously need to work on and I can probably get through this with the help of yourselves. With that said, um, the other thing I want to say about the Back to the Future game is I'm really dubious about the save system, so I actually sit down and I record an entire episode of Back to the Future the game, so this game will only end up being five recording sessions long. <laughs> That's how I did the first two episodes. Now, this is going to become a problem with this one because I've never finished this one. This is the point at which it'll change from me looking like I kind of know what I'm doing to me actually looking like I don't know what I'm doing. So, with that in mind, I think we should get rid of the title screen and move into the game. And it normally asks, do you want help? Yeah, definitely considering what I'm doing now. So with that in mind, let's do it. Duck! Relax! We've got everything under control. Well, crap, that's not a good way to start. I'm stuck in a car. So, wrecked DeLorean, billboard. So, what's the billboard? Citizen Brown. That's Doc, all right, but what the heck's going on here? I know, it's strange. It kind of creeps me out. Okay, Rectalorian. Don't worry, everybody. I'm okay. The billboard broke my fall. Okay. It's jammed. That's your first freebie, by the way. So, yeah. You can see the problem I've got with this one word. So we have a horn... Could you give me a... Jennifer? That 
doesn't look good. Uh, can we talk? This is the dumbest design ever. Jennifer, I need some help. Martin? It is you. Is that a DeLorean? Um, let's see. Yes, it's a DeLorean. It's not a DeLorean. We'll go with maybe. Yes, no, I mean, well, sort of. You don't remember the DeLorean? Well, I'll certainly remember it now. It's sticking out of the friggin' billboard. Uh, never mind that. Just give me a hand, okay? Oh, funny. So who are you supposed to be? Luke or Bo? This isn't funny, Jennifer. So what do we have the choice here? What's a... That's a date. You've changed. Well, I... well we know what the date is because we used the time machine. We've gone back to 1986, 85, but everything's changed. What are you doing down there? Not that you'd ever understand it, but I'm doing my part to support the arts in Hill Valley. Anyway, what's the technical term for attempting to jump your DeLorean through a billboard? Where did you even get a DeLorean? Is it stolen? That's a little complicated. I bet. Then we may as well just jump to... We don't want anyone to think that something's wrong with us, so we're going to ignore obvious questions because we kind of already know them can you help me down why don't you just jump i'll break my neck and right you got any rope you can toss me uh-uh all i have is this rusty wrench thing i found in the dirt a tire iron i think that'll do toss it here oh back off martin this is my witch mccallit what do you give me for it Uh, that's what's the date you've changed. May I please have the tire iron? The tire who? The big metal thing you're holding. Oh, right. As soon as you offer up a decent trade. Oh. Jennifer, please, this is serious. This tire thing really has some value to you, huh? At the moment, yes. Then it better be a pretty good trade. <laughs> Jennifer, you look so... different. That's the general idea of being a non-conformist. That's not what I meant. What are you getting at? That seems like logical. What'd you do to your hair? Helter Skelter. What? It's the same hair dye I always use. Right, so... Does that mean OK's gonna get replaced with right? Christ knows. What's with the attitude? I'm not having this argument again. You've argued about this before? I'm guessing you won the argument. What are you wearing, Jen? You look so... Fed up? Keen eye you got there. I was gonna say punk. A whole world alien to the likes of you, dork. Well, that got us nowhere Never mind, quick. I gotta get out of this car. Good idea. That won't work, so it's got to be something to do with the date. Oh, man. What's the date? What? That's something I should be asking you. You've probably wrecked your head. Just, what's the date, Jennifer? It's the 15th. The year? 1986. Duh. Yay, oh, 86. Man. Oh, man, this can't be happening. All right, let me think this through. Don't strain your brain, Geekzilla. Wrecked Delorean. Gotta get out of this death trap. Jennifer, window. That's not good either. Wrecked Delorean, billboard. What items have we got? A flask. Jennifer, 
Jennifer! This is all I got. Is there anything in it? Give me here. Ugh. Smells like armpits and booze. Irving Kid Tannen, the gangster? Where the hell did you get this? It's a long story. Can I just have the tire iron now? Heads up! Thanks! Oh, great. Now what? Oops. That's not a good start. Oh. Golf cart. Well, your dorkness, my debt to society is paid. As for you, good luck with your car. Way to stick it to Big Brother. Just don't expect your sudden cry for attention to change anything between us, dig? Doesn't change what? Look, Jennifer, I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift into town. Oh, sure, Martin. Climb on in. Hey, Jennifer, wait! I told you, we're through, McFly. I'll never date such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? Jesus, could this get any worse? Always does at that point. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's definitely not a good sign. Doc, I could really use your help right about now. Relax. We've got everything under control. Wheel? Well, at least one of the hover wheels work. That's going to have to be remembered. We have Doc's notebook, the tart. Oh. Okay, good. This could be useful. Now think, Marty, think. Well, now that it's off the car, it looks like the power cables for the hover system have disconnected. So if I had a battery. dead May 15th 1986 yeah the the date's right but everything's that's wrong. not good battery 12 volts wait this is the car battery I must have been installed in 2015 with the mr. fusion still has plenty of juice I think we've solved this problem without even looking at the wall. These walls couldn't possibly go around the entire city, could they? Yes, they could. No, no, no. Didn't mean that. I had a wrong button miss click. Let's see here. Red to positive, black to negative. Whoa! Puzzle solved. Far out. Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Okay, Marty, nothing to be afraid of. It's just an alternate hill valley that's turned my girlfriend into a punk rock vandal. That doesn't mean it's full of post-apocalyptic biker gangs run by armies of Biff clones. Just take a deep breath and remember, we gotta find Doc.
It's so, so clean. Good morning, citizen. And a good morning to you too, citizen. What's going on here, Doc? Jeez, my Hill Valley never looked this good. Watch where you're going, citizen. Sorry. Mr. Parker! That's Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... It's Thursday. Yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. You're out of uniform. That's a violation of Civic Ordinance 9 Triple E. And you're not wearing an ID in direct violation of Ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? Polo shirt? Are you on the pot, citizen? Put your arms up. Spread your legs. Hey, wh what are you doing? Quiet. Hold still. Hmm. Nothing. What's your deal today, McFly? So, it appears that we've landed in something reminiscent of a 1984 Hill Valley, which is not very good because we're already getting done in by the cops, so... Since when a cop irrelevant? <sighs> yeah, that kind of works. Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. So, she's gonna be out painting the town some sort of color. Hey, what's with the pat down? What do you think, I'm packing heat? Heat? Contraband? Contraband? You know. Booze, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, circus bubble peanuts. Illegal. Come on, McFly. You're smart enough to know that ignorance of the Civic Ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. Right. I'm just going to pretend that I know what you're on about. Uh, can you tell me where I can find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown? Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? At work? That's right. Working at the courthouse. Heavy. So that's three of the four, so may as well. Since when are you a cop? I thought you were a shoe salesman. Are you on something? I've always been a cop, just like my pa. Great, I've turned my girlfriend's dad into a cop. Looks like that's about everything. I've got to finish my beat. Are you going to make trouble for me today? No. No what? No, sir. That's right, citizen. So what are you? Oh, wait, citizen. Are you about to throw something away? Make sure you use the correct receptacle. Hill Valley takes pride in its diverse waste management system. What is the aluminum content of that can? Make sure it goes into the correct blue receptacle. Is that green, clear, or amber glass? It makes a difference. Remember that all consumable wrapping is tagged with a microchip to help us automatically police litter. Wow, you are definitely no fun. But I can select the recycle bins. I'm all for recycling, but this is out of control. That's his... What's the bin? Step away from the decycling bin, citizen. Decycling? Final resting place for all contraband within Hill Valley, the decycling bin ensures that socially toxic items will never find their way back into the hands of the general public in any way, shape, or form. So it's where all the cool stuff goes to die. If by cool you mean dangerous, then yes. 
or we can disintegrate something. You are standing in front of the Hill Valley Courthouse. The original courthouse was built in 1885, just 20 years after Hill Valley's incorporation into the state of California. Though the courthouse holds the seat of the local government, it also has been used as a shelter during the recovery period following the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. Most of Hill Valley's community is a result of displaced San Franciscans planting roots after that dreadful disaster. In 1976, the downtown renovation project saw the first major additions made to the courthouse since its original construction. The courthouse was expanded with an additional 128 offices in the new flanking wings and a new mayoral office added to the original clock tower space. Look closely and you can still see some of the original courthouse's details preserved in the new international inspired facade. New inspired. Okay. Damn it. Hill Valley Courthouse? How may I help you, citizen? I need to see Doc, or uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, but... Then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. That voice sounds familiar. Biff? Doc? Doc, wait! I need to talk to... you. That's not a good start. Ministry of Tourism. Ministry of Tourism. I can't see why people would want a vacation here. Nothing else. Camera that follows us. Conformist? The Conformist. Hairstylists always have such clever names. Just oh. like coffee shops. Conformist. Brown Industries, established in 1945, is the technological enterprise that makes Hill Valley what it is today. Whether it is electric cars running off the city power grid or motion sensing fence deployment, the radical civil innovations under development at E. Brown Industries are changing the way cities operate. Efficient pedestrian travel vigilant citizen monitoring, and space-age technologies that preserve the clean and modern appearance of the city. All these amazing advancements are not only making Hill Valley a wonder of the modern civilization, E. Brown Industries also exports its ideas and technology to cities around the world. One such city is Singapore soon to be recognized as our international sister city. That's a little bit worrying. E. Brown Industries. That's hopeful. So that's how he kind of got started. Citizen reading room? Citizen reading room. I guess there's one in every town. Library then. Stemley's Staycations. The heck is a staycation? I was thinking, I was hoping he was going to tell me. Citizen Reading Room. What do we do? Look around yourself. Breathe in the fresh air. Enjoy the immaculate scenery and architecture. You are standing among the denizens of the most sociologically advanced city in the world. Hill Valley, a perfect place to live. Let's take a moment to look up at the city's centerpiece, the courthouse, with its ornate clock tower. Look closely 
Do you see a silhouette behind the clock? That's our beloved first citizen, Emmett L. Brown, toiling away on new ideas to make Hill Valley the city of tomorrow today. I'm gonna hold off on dealing with that table. I just wanna have a look. First Citizen Brown, the mind head of Hill Valley, a man of infinite wisdom and awe-inspiring imagination. Emmett Lathrop Brown had been raised by a family legacy steeped in law, but hadn't set his sights on his destiny until he single-handedly thwarted the nefarious gangster Irving Kid Tannen and his bootlegging syndicate. After this heroic event, immortalized by the grand statue on the courthouse lawn, First Citizen Brown devoted his life to civil and social engineering, using Hill Valley as a prototype for tomorrow's cities today. So he went off on the deep end. Commemorating on the 25th day of August this year of our Lord, 1931, the capture and incarceration of Irving Kidd Tannen and the disbanding of his criminal syndicate by the heroic efforts and ingenious mind of our beloved first citizen, Emmett Lathrop Brown, by virtue of his experimental rocket car. Edna must have written that. Yes, you're going to find that that voice we've been listening to is Edna so, squawk box plaque. But anything over this away. So, I definitely think talking to him will progress things. So, what are you? Hey, can't you read? Oh. It's you, McFly. Leech? Hey, hey, my bad. I should have wrote the sign in Latin, just so you'd understand. What sign? Outway to Unchle. Now eat it, Bay, and let me catch some Z's. Free soy dog samples. Take one. Hmm, I guess they ran out. Soups and more. Wholesome soups, fresh vegetables, and soy-based imitation meats. Ugh. Good thing I'm not hungry. A little bit worrying. Uh, yes, I remembered where Run was. Remember to keep your name badge on at all times. Not only does it make every citizen seem like your neighbor and friend, it grants you passage at the three main city access points. Hill Valley is the country's first fully incorporated gated city. In 1966, Hill Valley petitioned for a special regional exemption from state legislation. Using a tax and property law loophole, the city of Hill Valley managed to consolidate itself into a gated community with special allowances for business and residential zoning. To date, we are the safest and most self-sustaining city in the United States. But at what cost? Okay, that's as... There we go again. See what I mean? Okay's everywhere. We can't go any further that way, which means we need to have a chat with a person at the table. So, with that in mind, I think I'm going to call it here and we'll pick this up next time on Back to the Future. Till then, have a good one.